I have a completely new tackle setup for fishing arctic shard on the ice that gives me 50% more fish and I'm going to show you how to make it. The first thing you need is a fishing line. I'm using a mono clear line that is uh, Trillian. Uh, this one here is 0.22 millimeters. It's perfect for the char. I am using about one meter or maybe a meter and a half just to have something to work on. And I always start in the, in the bottom of the tackle where I'm going to attach the hook first. We are going to need a hook. I have sorted all my hooks and stuff like that in a box like this, so it's going to be easy to find it, but... Uh, or at least I thought... Yes, this one. This here is an owner mosquito hook. This is size number 10. Uh, I've used them before and they are perfect for arctic char up to one kilo. If you're going to fish bigger arctic char, I would go up to maybe a six or maybe a four. So, uh, but for... Um, the water I'm fishing in, this here is perfect. On this setup I'm going to use two hooks. So I'm taking out two right away and putting it a place where I can easily find them. As I said, the first uh, thing I start with is the bottom of the line where the hook is, uh, is where the bottom hook is going to uh, sit. My eyesight is not that good, but I think Made it there. Attach it with whatever knot that you're uh, comfortable with. I'm using I'm using a knot that I've always used on, on hooks. And remember to take some spit on uh, on the line so it won't break off. So it don't get warm and break off. So, you can see this I think, but the hook is attached. And after we have attached the hook, we are going to put on a little bead. We are going to use this one here, and we're going to use a green one that is fluorescent. So it will light up under the water, or at least it will give a small, small, uh, or a Wake the small light that uh, the char sees very well, and um, that is a good attractor for the char. So, in this box, we have a lot of different beads, but we have a bead. You don't know if you can see this, but it's a small, small fluorescent, fluorescent bead. There you can see, there you can see the bead. I'm looking over to the screen just so you can see it. And I try to take the bead and just press it gently over the eye of the hook. And I'm pressing the bead gently on top of the hook. So it sits like this. And after that, we are going to put on a little line stopper. Those things here are amazing. They are... I know that you guys probably know what it is, but this here, when I used, started using this, that made my life much more easy when it came to, uh, to building up um, my own tackles. I'm going to use a red one. So take the red, you take the red and you put your line. You take the red and you put the line just through it like this. And you take that line stopper and pull it into the line. I know it's pretty hard to see this there then the can you see this the line stopper is on and we are 
pulling the line stopper all the way down to the bead that we just attached to the hook then it will look look oh it's twirling around look like this the first uh, first hook is done this hook we are going to fill up with uh, fly larva uh, when we come down to the ice then we are taking another uh, another line stopper like this over this line stopper we are going to put a flashing light it works like this as soon as it get into, gets into the water uh, it will start sending out small flashes of light that will also be a super attractor to the char and now we can easily also pull the line stopper downwards a little bit and you can then lower the light that the distance from the hook and uh, and the light will determine uh, how close to the bottom you will fish and how uh, high you will have the next hook that we're going to attach now but first we're going to put another line stopper above this uh, this light so it will stay in place like this there we have it and then we are going to attach another hook that will fish maybe 15 to 20 centimeters above the light and then we are using something really smart that i come over in a store just the other day this here comes with four line stoppers and between them it's an eye that you can f uh, attach another line to so we're going to attach this one to the line so we have now attached this one now we are going to take a little bit more line uh, and then as i said i always start with the hook and we need another small green or fluorescent green uh, beam or bead and now we're doing the exact same thing we are taking the taking the bead and putting it on the line and attaching it to the eye of the hook and it will be you can see that see the green bead there and we take another red um, line stopper pulling the line stopper all the way down to the bead and there you can see it's the same setup as the hook that we have in the bottom of but now we are going to take we're going to use about this much of a rubber tube and we are taking that and putting it on the line like this it's not going to stay there now we are going to attach the new one we made on the upper part of the tackle and now it's important to see how long it's going to be probably there will be fine and as soon as you have attached a um, secondary line to the main line you can take the rubber tube and just pull it up and you will attach it over the eye that we have just tied up and now we have a setup that looks like this here Ooh. this here now you can see the the light the upper hook and the bottom hook and now it's easy to just adjust it wherever you want if you want the upper hook to get a bit closer to the light you can just pull it down you can adjust the light but there's one more thing that we need to attach or there's two more things that we need to attach first we need some um, weights just below the um, below the, the light just so we can get the um, tackle much faster down to the bottom 
So I use small uh, beads of uh, weights like this and I attach them close to the light. The hair will, those weight or this weight will also slide up and down the, the line if you are gently pulling them up or down. And now we can adjust the length on the tackle. I think we will cut it just here. And then we will attach, we'll attach just a little line holder like this. So it will be easy to attach it to the fishing rod when we are down at the lake. And there we are. We have attached it. Just going to trim off the end there. And there. So guys, there we are. This setup has given me 50% more Arctic Char on the ice. So uh, if you guys want to check it and try it out, please do so and leave a comment in, um, in the comments uh, section down here. So I can see if you guys are also getting more fish on this tackle. So until next time guys, have a good fishing. Bye!